in Jesus name one thing we must stop doing is stop complaining God does not let people that complain in 1st Corinthians chapter 10 very clearly the Bible says God destroyed those that murmured you know in Israel they were murmuring already in the wilderness they were murmuring study and you are murmuring and this thing and Nigerians love to murmur we fact, we murmur to the point where we even murmur in churches and I just wish all my senior colleagues and my peer level left friends can preach against more morning about Nigeria. Let's stop all this. Because what we cannot take, we should not give. I don't like people more about Futa. No bishop would like any member of theirs more morning about their church. But we encourage our members to murmur about the nation. But we won't stand it if they murmur about our churches. Because God hates people that murmur. Then that murmur ye, as some of them also did murmur. And they were destroyed. If you destroy, to murmur is also keep complaining. Nation is bad. Nation is this. Let's start speaking well. Let's preach and teach this, not just in church, but also for the nation. I'm not saying we should not criticize objectively leadership. We should. We must. When the leadership is not doing what they should do, we should speak against it. I totally concur. But mumbling is different from speaking correctively to correct people and to try as much as possible constructively. We should encourage people to pray for the nation. We're going to pray that God will give us peace and security in our land. Jeremiah 33 verses 3 to 6. 
Jeremiah 33 says, ask of me what you want and I will show you great and mighty things that you've not done. Jeremiah 33, verse number 3. Call unto me and I will answer thee and I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. For thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of this day, of this city, and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, look at it, which are thrown down by mounds and by sword. Look at the next verse. They come to fight with the Chaldeans, but it is to fill them with dead bodies of men whom I have slain in my anger and in my fury for all whose wickedness I have hid my face from this city. Next verse. Behold, I will bring it health and healing. Someone say amen. Shout amen. God will bring it health and healing in the name of Jesus. God will heal our land. God will heal Nigeria. God will heal our waters. In the name of Jesus. All bad waters from religion. God will heal it. God will heal it. God will heal in the name of Jesus. That will heal. That if you can heal them, what happens next is peace and security. You see? And we reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. That will abund abund means there will be peace and there will be security in your land. The moment God brings cure and healing, there will be peace and security in the land. Put your hands together for Jesus. Let us rise to our feet and pray for 10, 15 minutes. Let's pray for Nigeria. We'll use this to pray. We want to use this opportunity to pray. It's time for us to pray. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. We have to 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 pray. Have to pray. Let's, let's spend time to ask God to forgive our land of all kinds of hymns. Can you please spend just two, three minutes? Let's start on the note of forgiveness. Whichever state you are from, pray for every state of Nigeria. Any state you can mention. For the last 50 years, the blood of righteous people that's been shed, the evils, the iniquity. Let's ask God for forgiveness. Begin to pray. Ask God for forgiveness. Lord, forgive our leaders. Forgive our followers. Forgive us, oh God. Forgive us, oh God. Pray. Lift your voices and pray. Lift your voices and pray. Ask God for forgiveness. Lord, we'll pray. Lord, we'll pray for Nigeria. We pray. If they shall pray, God, ask God to pray. Lift your voices and pray for Nigeria. You have to ask God to forgive us. He said, I will forgive their sins. I will forgive. My God, we we pray, we pray. Heal our waters. Mandelebo zekekede. Rando zekekeduske branda lara daka brande. Eko zekekede ke bruse keketa. Le duze kendeli. Rando zoto braka daka ba. Eke teke zekede. Mando zogoto brane. Rando zekete bruse kete brane. Rando zekede ke braka dika zuto kobrana. Leke zuka ta brane. Leke zekete nike bro kazekete. Lord, we we'll pray. Let me hear your voice. Cry to God. Cry to God. Cry to God. Lord, we we'll pray. Made zeke kebo. Raka du zeke prandele. Raka do zeke te prane. Ninde zeke to pruno kade baba baba. Leke zuko to prana kaba baba ke. Leke zuto prana kebo. Zeke te rika da kaba baba. Heke du zeke prakade. In Jesus' name, we pray. We will pray. We will pray that God will heal our waters. Listen to me. The water is bad. Let me tell you, the water is bad. From scriptures, I was studying scriptures. Water means the word of God in new covenant. Do you know the first, one of the first things God did to Egypt? God told Moses to go and poison the waters of Egypt. Exodus 7 verse 19. Exodus 7 19. God told Moses, God, if I poison their water, I wreck their economy. 
And the Lord spake to Moses, Say unto Aaron, Take thy rod and stretch forth thine hand upon the waters of Egypt, upon their streams, upon their rivers, upon their ponds, and all their pools of water, that they may become blood. Oh, Jesus. Who will drink blood? How can blood water eh, help you with your ground? And there may be blood throughout all the land, both in vessels of wood and vessels of stone. God poisoned the waters. The fishes in the pond and the oceans died. The economy will be ruined. The water in the land actually is bad. Can we cry to God? I've told you the three areas that poisoned it. Tribalism poisoned the water. Corruption poisoned the water. Now religion that shouldn't has poisoned the waters. Can we pray? God heal the land. Heal our waters. Heal our waters. Lift our voices and begin to pray. Heal the waters, Lord. Heal our waters. Heal the waters of the land. That the land may be blessed. That the land may grow, may be fertile. Heal, heal our waters. Heal the waters. Pray, pray, pray. Heal the waters, Lord. Heal the waters, Lord. Lay go do se ke prane de ba. E do se ke ke do se ke prane. Rade ke se ke te prane. Rozo toko bo se ke ndeli. Raba ba ba ba. Kado se ke ke do se prane. Heal the waters, 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 heal our waters, heal our waters, take away the poison, take away the poison, take away the poison, take away the poison, man the ball shake a day, let do se ke prande le re ba ba ba, he ke ke te ke shake te bane, man do zoto prande ke boska, heal the waters, heal the waters, heal the waters, heal Heal the waters, 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 heal our waters. Makaba sekete. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, we speak the prophetic word to the waters in this land to receive healing, to receive health, to receive healing, to receive health, to receive healing, to receive health. Ah. Eke ke des ke prane ke bosco lande li rada baba eke ke dus ke prane eke dus ka taraba mande le bosche ke ke de eke dus ka prane de bo ah heal the waters heal the waters heal the waters heal the waters mande le bosche ka baba eke de ke brude ke praga baba mende li kare Lando zekete bruka zakata Heke duske brande liraba Handelere neke bruka zekete My God Make our water sweet Make our water sweet Make our water sweet Mandele bo shekete In Jesus name we pray A doctor is here They will tell you that your body is To third water and one third blood or so Am I right? The earth is three quarter water, one fourth earth. Water is too important. In the beginning, God separated the waters from above and earth, firmament and oceans. God took earth from the waters. In Exodus chapter 15, you will pray this prayer, Lord, make bitter waters sweet. Remember Mara, Exodus 15 verse 23. Exodus 15, the people when they left river, Egypt and the next river Nile and when they came to Mara eh, 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 Red Sea, the cross Red Sea they could not drink the waters of Mara of bitterness for they were what? Bitter. Nigerians are saying this country is bitter it's only God that can help us eh? and therefore the name of it was called Mara look at the next verse and Moses cried to God and people murmured against Moses saying what shall we drink? We are going to die of thirst. And he said to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree, you see, which he had cast into the waters. And the waters were made sweet. Somebody shout sweet. Shout sweet. There he made for them a statute and an ordinance. And there he proved them. And verse 26, that favorite passage you all know. Verse 26. And he said, if thou wilt diligently hearken into the voice of the Lord thy God, I will do that which is right in his sight, and will give here to his commandments, and shall keep all his statutes, and will put none of these diseases, because waters can breed disease. Am I right, sir? If you drink water, water, you'll be sick. <laughs> waters, bad water, 
That's why you can have typhoid. We bring it. How we not put any of these diseases upon you from the Lord that healeth thee. Can you please pray and say, Oh Lord, heal our waters, make them sweet, turn bitter waters to sweet waters for Nigeria and Nigerians in Jesus' name. Sweet waters, sweet waters, sweet waters. My God, it's bitter today, but you can make it better. Can you cry to God? Your economy, your work, your life, your job, make it sweet, 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 sweet. Pleasant. Let God heal. 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 Heal. Let God heal. Let God heal. Heal our waters. Heal our waters. Heal our waters. Make bitter water sweet. Mandebo Shakata. They shall become sweet. Sweet waters. Sweet waters. Sweet waters. Sweet waters. Make the most shakata baba baba baba. Eke dozuke pranebo shekende. Rande legebo shekikata prane. Lord. Lord. Mandebo shekekede. Mandri de gebo shekita rakata baba baba. Makesika de bruni ke de geba lege de bo sheketeke. Le duske prande le re de gebo shakata. Eke diske Lande ni karada ka baba ba, lando eke ke bos, eke bos, eke bos. Mande ni karinda karaba baba ba, keke duske prane, le duske kita lara da kabosa kata, le ke duske prani, eke duske prani da karaba, ekuda sekete, makido seketu na rakaba, mande ni ke bos sekita raba, mande ni rakade ke bos sekete, rakaduske prani ke da kabosa kata, emo seketu. Lord, heal our waters. Make this country sweet. Make this country sweet. Make this country sweet. Make Nigeria sweet, Lord. No more bitterness. 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 Man the Negabo shake it today. Lake a duske prane. Reke diska prane ke de bos. Rabba baba ba. Eke so kita prane de ke pusa kata. Lord, your people, 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 your people. They are groaning, Lord. They are groaning. Lord, they are groaning. Lord, they are groaning. Lord, there's so much bitterness out there. Lord, heal our waters, heal our waters, heal our waters, heal our waters, make it sweet, oh God. Mandebo seke ke tu ke prane, le du se ke prane ne ke ri da kabane ke ne ke bo shakate, le du se ke prane ne ke ri ke bo shakate. Oh God, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. I believe that the Nigerians, God will hear the voice of Nigerians. God said, I've heard the groanings of my people. At the right time, God delivered Israelites from Egypt. I don't want to go ahead of time. Neither do I want to help God in doing his work. God does not need our help. He doesn't need our help. God knew when to do it. And God took away Pharaoh. God had to take his son. God took his husband's son. So don't be, don't be shocked, surprised at the things that have been happening in this country. The death of certain prominent people is all part of God's plan. I know you will say no. That's our business. All we need to keep doing is keep groaning. Keep praying. Leave the rest to God to do. Can I say it again? Keep groaning. Keep praying. Leave the rest to God to do. God knows what to do with and how to do it. God does not need help. God said, I've heard the groanings of my people. I've heard their cry. I will always just, God, please, this is too much. Make bitter water sweet. Make bitter water sweet. Send your servant to prophesy. Give us new cruises. We're going to pray. We're going to pray because the water is the main problem. He said, the land is pleasant. The water is bad. Therefore, the ground is barren. Three things. The land is pleasant. The water is bad. The ground is barren. 
The land is pleasant. Water is bad. Ground is barren. What did he do? He healed the waters. You get the ground to be fruitful. The same thing Moses did, Elisha did. So what we are doing is we're trying to curse the land. The land is not cursed. We're trying to work hard here to make the ground fruitful without dealing with the waters. The poison, tribalism, corruption, and what? Religion. These are the things that polluted the waters. To the point where, for me, even in offices, you are an Ijo man. All your bank, you fill it with what? Ijo people. You know what I'm saying. Some banks, you see certain tribes there. Marketplace, or marketplace. It's so bad. The water is so bad that in those banks, you see them there. It's so bad. They polluted it. I'm telling you. You don't know. Our country is so polluted and poisoned by these waters. And the people that started it, started deliberately for their personal interest, it has become a culture everywhere. Even in some churches. They say, no, this one is Igbo church, Yoruba church. Church, church. Do you think we'll get to heaven? We'll have Igbo, Igbo heaven, Yoruba heaven? No, think about it. There's an heaven for Hebrew bars, heaven for Hebrews. They, that means there's so, there's so much poison that we don't even know. We're not even aware. We know we're, we're consciously, subconsciously rather, working under puppeteers, puppet masters. I want us to pray for our land. I want us to cry to God once more. Give us new cruises, new vessels, new vessels, new vessels. Say, oh God, we cry to you on behalf of Nigeria. Raise new cruises, new vessels to lead us in this land in the name of Jesus. Cry to God, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Ask God, ask God, make me a new cruise. Ask God to raise you as a new cruise and to give us more new cruises. Keke, le du se kika tu sakata pane, brando li redo soto prane, le ke du ska brando loro do bo zakata, le re ke de ke zute prane, li karuso koto prane, kani de soto praka du sakata, pre mando se ke ke te bruse ke te. Ma de suta prande rando ekeke zuketepa lande li reko zekete Lord give us new cruise give us oh God for this land raise new cruises raise new cruises raise new vessels vessels unto honor vessels in leadership vessels in the marketplace vessels in finance vessels in politics vessels in church vessels unto glory vessels filled with morals vessels filled with power vessels that have salt in them vessels oh god vessels mandele bo se keke de lendu se kita prane de ke bo sakata ba e ke dus ke prane de ke bo ska landeli rando lo go bo se keke de randele re de ke bo se ke nda la la ba 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 oh lord oh lord oh lord oh lord vessels give us new vessels Give us new vessels, raise new vessels in this land to help us heal the waters, to help us deal with the waters. In the lebo sekekede, rando lorobo sekedeka, re lanko sekende li karababa baba kato sekeke tu sakati karakato sekete, lando li radaka bru sekete, lande li karadaka baba baba, mando lorobo sekeke. Deke rambru sakate li karinde leke bo sakate lando le reke de ba 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 eko sekende li randa kapo sekende le lando li rando ko braka deke sakata le do sekende li randa kapo le Lord give us new vessels raise new vessels for this country vessels that are detribalized 
Jesús de la mayor mandó lo más que quede lando maquende que mandó que no saque te prane rosa candelica tú sé que prenda la va re que tú que prendo lo vamos Lord give us new vessels give us new vessels in Jesus name we pray Mary you cannot be a new vessel if you believe in the old ideas vessels here I want to be the vessel God will use. Watch me. And I believe in tribalism. You're getting it. Because if I don't get to leadership, what will I do? I'll continue. I cannot be a new vessel and I'm super corrupt. When I get there, what will I do? Still. I cannot be a new vessel. I'm a religious bigot. Right in leadership, I'll be saying, let's go and kill the Muslims. Let's go and kill the Christians. That's what I will do. I will remove Christian religious studies from the curriculum. I will say Islamic studies should be moving. But a new vessel, watch me, is not, is patriotic more than just religious. And I get there, I think Nigeria. I don't think Christians, I don't think Muslims, I think Nigeria. When they kill in the south, I will condemn it. When they kill in the north, I will condemn it. When they kill in Sada Kaduna, I will condemn it. When they kill in Zamfara, I will condemn it. But if you only condemn when they kill in Santa Cardinal, and the following day you hear they've killed 15,000 in Zamfara, you keep quiet. You are not a new vessel. It means it. Because you don't mind if they killed in Katsina, if they killed in Kano, if they killed in Zamfara or Bono. But the moment they kill in your place, you shout, You are not a new vessel. Because you are saying they are not my people. Okay, are they not human beings? Do you want me to kill a human being? A human being? Whether they are your people or not, and you say you want to belong to Nigeria? Americans don't say they've killed somebody from Minnesota or Texas. If you take an American and you kill anyone in the world, they will come and defend, they will come and fight you. They won't say, Where is the person from? California. I don't care. Not from Texas. American! You know what I'm saying? They will go and defend. They don't, they don't ask the question, where is it from in America? They don't ask the question, whether black or white, they go out to defend. To them, you have touched an American. We need new vessels. So when I say give us new vessels, that's what I'm saying. We need detribalized and non-corrupt leaders that will say, I'm going to build a nation. We are going to look at things objectively, meritocracy. If you don't, if it's my brother, I say, oh boy, come on, come on, I beg. You steal. Oh, God, now. I'm your brother now. Those that I put you are stealing. They're not condemning them. Do you know how many times I hear that? Those who are standing like, ah, ah. Because those people are stealing, we should condemn every thief. The one on the cross, or the one off the cross, condemn. Stealing is wrong. I know it is a new message. What is the Bible? A new vessel. A new vessel. We're going to pray that prayer for yourself now, not for the nation. The one of the water. Because I was praying, I was praying for you. Because that message is for you too, not for the church. Say to God, because you are a product of the water you drink. If you drink bad water, you have typhoid. Oh. If you drink, if you hear the word of God that's not pure, you become overcharged in looking for money. Do you know how many pastors have ruined the lives of youth? How many pastors have ruined I mean, the life of young people out there? They've overdriven them to go and steal. Go and look for money, look for money, you are prosperous. Prosperity messages, they're taking bad water. What happens to them? They become the product of the water they drink. Ephesians 5.26. Some have taken bitter waters and become more bitter. So they walk in bitterness even in church against people. Instead of making bitter water sweet. The word of God should make it bitter. You're coming from outside bitter. When you hear the word, it should become sweeter. I say, God, thank you. And I have hope. I have joy. I have faith. I have love. So you know, my life is now sweet. Pray that God make every bitterness in my life sweet. Every bitter waters I've taken, I want, oh God, help me to cough it out. I don't want to have wrong stuff inside. I've become a wrong resource. Because you're a product of what you're taking. Say, oh God, heal me of all bitterness. Take it away. Make my life sweet and sweeter. In Jesus' name. 
Begin to pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. I don't want to have bitter waters. No bitter waters. No bitter waters. No bitter waters. Ma kaze keke duske pranebo je keke de le bruce kika tabra kate kezoto prane le kaduze ke bruta kaze keke de keke ma kaduze prane ke bos. Pray, pray for yourself. Lande bos je ke prane de ke bos jakata le brozoto prane ke de ke ze ke duska prane de ke bos jakate rande ke ze ke de bos jakata. No more bitterness. 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 Le ke zo ke te prane de bos jakata. Leke bruze ke deka mande zike de bro. Leke zeke ke duskin prani de ke bo zakata. Rande ke bo zeke ndali reke de ka prani ke de bo zakata. Lord, make the life of your people sweet. I release sweetness. I release sweetness. I release sweetness into their homes, into their lives, to their marriages, their marriages, their everything, their emotional life. Be sweet, be sweet. Receive sweetness. No more bitterness. Receive forgiveness. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. God, oh God, make their lives sweeter, make their lives sweeter, make their lives better, make their lives better, make their lives better. Land the lebo sakata, makete kese kende, mandruze kinta brune deke, raka deske pro loko bo sekete, ni deseke bruna kita karaba baba. Yes, oh God, yes, oh God, yes, oh God, mande bo sekete ni karaba baba. Le bruce kekatoni, le duce kende li randa ka bruce koto prane, le duce keke de ke duce kem prani de, le brando zokoto mande li radaka. Yes, Baba, make our lives better, make our lives better, make our lives better, make our lives better, make our lives better. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift your hands above your head. Say, Oh God, we cry today as Nigerians. We ask for forgiveness of our sins on behalf of our fathers, of our leaders, of citizens, of Nigerians, from Sokoto to Calabar, from Borno to Lagos. We ask, oh God, you will heal our land, forgive our sins, give us new leaders, new leaders. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh God, help the citizens to become patriots, to become patriotic, to love this country. We pray to bless Nigeria. Bless us, oh God. Bless us, oh God. Bless our waters in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, I pray for every man and woman here today. I take bitterness away from your hearts. I release sweetness. 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 In the name of Jesus. By apostolic unction. I declare unto you. Elisha declared. Moses declared. From today. Your life will become sweeter. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every source of bitterness in your heart. I curse it. I command you to die to the roots in the name of Jesus. Receive sweetness. Receive sweetness. Receive sweetness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hands together for Jesus. So as, as these prayers are coming up and things are hitting you for the first time, please let me plead with you to take this home. Praise the Lord. I'm pregnant morning. I'm pregnant with Nigeria. And uh, what I'd like to do by the Spirit of God is to further impregnate you if you're already pregnant also. So if you're here and you're probably in your 30s, 40s, 50s, in Nigeria, you've known a better yesterday. And that's not the way it's supposed to be. My mom is 78. My dad is late. Both of them happen to have enjoyed 
when Nigeria was Nigeria. Both of them studied in the U.S. They did their university education in the U.S., not with their money. Because it was based on people that had ability. It wasn't based on quota. They enjoyed that. <laughs> on the other side, though, by God's grace, I've been privileged to travel to a few countries. And in the days when my job involved traveling, we'll go in company. We'll be like 10 from different countries of the world. And we'll be heading towards a particular country. It didn't take long for my colleagues to understand that at every immigration um, table, I was the only one left. They would have gone, including Kenya. I remember entering Kenya with such an attitude. I was so upset. I'm like, excuse you, from where to where? But guess what? We made ourselves like that. Because it's when there's a crack that's when things can happen. I'd like to pray from the national anthem this morning. Shall we rise to our feet? So in case this is the first time, the, the seasonal scripture that pastor has been talking on and preaching on is 2 Kings 2, 19 to 21. And I want to start there. It says, And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord seeth. But the water is not, and the ground is barren. And he said, bring me a new cruise, and put salt therein. And they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters, and cast salt in there. And he said, thus says the Lord, I have healed your waters, and there shall not from end any more death or barren land. So shall it be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. To achieve God's program, God shops for people. Once there's an agenda, there's a program, it's either he has started shopping 40 years ago, like we know in the place of Moses, or, he, or some, somebody has refused to carry out God's program, and actually it shifts to someone else. So when there's, a, when there's an agenda, God uses people. The second stanza of our anthem, well, how does it start? That's where I want us to start. Nigeria needs to acknowledge God in a new way. I take my prayer from Daniel. Daniel happened to have been in exile. He was, he was a, a child and a leader of promise. And this was what he said. As the scriptures come on, I want you to say it and, and slot Nigeria in. We need to go before God. We, we can't be saying it's not me, it's you. I normally say this. God has given me opportunities to occupy some positions that have humbled me. Humbled me in a way that I have come to know that changing culture is not easy. It's very easy to throw stones at leaders. It's very easy to say things when you're not in leadership. The moment they put you there, then you realize actually it's easier said than done. So where Nigeria is today is not because of the political parties. You and I add to it. We face one way. We give bribes. We know you look very holy in church. We give bribes. We do things we're not supposed to do at work. We're going to go before God this morning. Daniel 9, 1 to... I'll just take 1 to 10. Please help me, media. And I want us to, we're going to read the entire one to nine and we're going to go before God. In the first year of Darius, son of Sexus, who was made ruler over the Babylonian kingdom, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood from the scriptures. Do we have an understanding of what God is doing? According to the word of the Lord given to Jeremiah the prophet, that the desolation of Jerusalem will last 70 years. Very specific. So I turned to the Lord God and pleaded with him in prayer because time was now Oh, oh, he was now over time, pre pleaded with him in prayer and petition in fasting and in sackcloth and ashes. Daniel was probably not part of the problem, but he went to God as part of the problem. I prayed to the Lord my God and I confessed, O oh Lord, the great and awesome God, who keeps his covenant of love with all who love him and obey his commands. We have sinned and done wrong. We have been wicked. We have rebelled. We have turned away from your commands and your laws. We have not listened to your servants, the prophets. Who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes and our fathers and to all the people of the land? Verse 7, Lord, you are righteous, but this day we are covered with shame. The men of Nigeria and the people of Nigeria and all of Nigeria, both near and far, in all the countries where you have scattered us because of our unfaithfulness to you. Oh Lord, we and our kings, our princes and our fathers are covered with shame because we have sinned against you. The Lord our God is merciful and forgiving. Even though we have rebelled against him, we have not obeyed the Lord our God or kept the laws he gave us through his servants, the prophets. 
All Nigeria has transgressed your law and turned away, refusing to obey you. I want you to go before God this morning and just ask for mercy. Let's say to God, we have sinned. We and our fathers. Some of us have erected idols. We've erected things, things in the place of God. Those of us that should have known better, we have not done better. Lord, we come before you this morning asking for mercy. Forgive our land. Have mercy upon Nigeria. Have mercy upon Nigeria. It's not about my brother. It's not about my sister. I come before you pleading for your mercy. We know you are full of love. We know you are a covenant-keeping God. You are full of love. You are a covenant-keeping God. Forgive us our transgressions, O God. Turn our hearts back to you. Turn our hearts back to you. My soto malika baba baba bulusata. Je proika sete maluse kerikasa. Have mercy, O God. You said if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then will you hear from heaven and heal the land. Heal Nigeria, Baba. From the north to the south, from the east to the west. Lord, will you heal this land, O God? Heal this land. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Mercy against the blood of slaughtered children. Mercy against the blood of slaughtered children. Mercy against all kinds of rituals. Father, today will you have mercy. We have sinned and rebelled. Even the church of the Lord Jesus has sinned. We have sinned, oh God. We have not represented you enough. Where you have nudged us, we refuse to move. Will you please forgive? Forgive, oh God. Forgive, oh God. Pasoto maleke bababosha. Repo seke makuri kasende de bababosa. Jene de makuri kasende de bababosa. Le makuna li kasende de bababose. Pandole sita li kabababababosha. Have mercy and forgive us, O oh God. 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 Before you, we cast our crowns. We come humble. We come humbly. Forgive us, Baba. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Because God is a God of mercy. Isaiah 49, 24. And I want you to listen very well. It says, shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Or the lawful captive delivered? But thus says the Lord. Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. In other words, the mighty had you lawfully. He said, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with them that contend with you. Go to the Lord in prayers this morning. We tear down every altar. Every altar. Every altar. People that have deliberately sold our land into slavery, into poverty, into penury. You said, you said, oh God, shall the prey be taken for the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? You said, I will contend with them that contend with you. Contend with the people, with the rulers, with the thrones that are contending with Nigeria. Contend with us. Fight our battle. Fight on our side. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He says, for I will contend with them that contend with you. And I will save your children. Let me finish that. Verse 26 says, And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am your Savior. And the Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Let's ask that this redemption promise will be our portion in Nigeria. Let us go to God in prayer. This redemption you promised will be a portion in this land. 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 Redemption will be a portion in this land. Redemption will be a portion in this land. In the name of Jesus. Pasoto maleke mashuda da bababa. Mamo soto malika bababo shata. Repapo soto malika shine de bababa babosa. Repondo le makusha. In Jesus' name. Another line, and I'm, I'm taking different verses and different lines in the entire anthem. The anthem is a prayer to me. The entire anthem is a prayer to me. When I'm, I'm, I'm singing the anthem, I'm praying. It says, guide our leaders right. Guide our leaders right. We have to pray focus on leadership appointments. Because that's what changes the trajectory of a nation. 
Go and look at it. When God intends to do something in a nation, when there's an agenda, there's usually some shifts in leadership. We're going to pray about deliberate action to seed salty leaders into places that change the game. Leaders that have salt. So the first one, before I go into the first prayer point, just some scriptures to help us. The Bible says in Romans 8, 19, it's a verse of scripture most people know. It says, for the earnest expectation of creature, wait for the manifestation of the sons of God. Sons and daughters of God, where are you this morning? The easy to read version says, everything that God made is waiting with excitement for the time he will show the world who his children are. The whole world wants very much for that to happen. Matthew 5, 13 says, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savour, where will shall it be salted? It is therefore good for nothing but to be cast out. I read that in message. Let me tell you why you are here. You are here to be salt seasoning that brings out the God flavours of the earth. If you lose your saltiness, how will people taste godliness? You've lost your usefulness and will end up in the, in the garbage. God will cause challenges and problems that allow the emergence of individuals with the right heart. This is what happened to Vashti and Esther. This is what happened also when Joseph, when it was time for Joseph to come out and be the prime minister. The king had, could not sleep. The same thing in Esther's, in Esther's case. The king could not sleep. Let's go to God this morning and ask, as far as leadership is concerned in Nigeria, let there be challenges and problems that allow the emergence of leaders. Things that require the solution that you will carry. Things that require the solution that Christians carry. Real Christians, Christians from the heart. I want you to, I want you to be dangerous in the way you are praying this prayer. Praise the Lord. Reverend said, he said he sees our guys abroad as part of the solution to this land. So part of the challenge will be that maybe somebody that wasn't meant to come home yet has to come home. Because there's a job here for that person. Let's go to God. Let's pray for challenges and problems that allow those individuals to emerge. Let there be shiftings. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pasoto maleke mashodo lo baba. Rimancho posuta like mashuda la baba. Remo soto malike makusha dale baba baba. Repondo lo soto malika shida lima kure kasa. Repondo lo soto malike side le baba. Repondo lo suta la ba. Jendre lima suta lima shuda la ba. The Bible says in Esther 2, 1 to 2, after these things, when the wrath of King Ahasuerus was appeased, he remembered Vashti and what she had done and what was decreed against her. Then said the king's servant who ministered to him, let there be fair young virgins sought for the king. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Our second prayer point is let there be shiftings in institutions for God's choices to be ordained, even in PFN and Khan. Let's go to God. Let there be shiftings. Let the vastities of this world be dethroned. Let there be a misstep. A misstep that allows the placement of Esther in the palace. Let there be shiftings. Father, you are the one that rules in the affairs of men. You are the one that rules in the affairs of men. Let these things shift. Let institutions shift. Let policies shift. Let gatekeepers shift in the name of Jesus. Masoto Malisa Talika Shida Baba. Le Pondo Lo Soto Malika Shada Baba. Rapondo Lo Sutalika Shada Baba 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 Baba. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Bible says in Daniel 1 8, and here Daniel was actually in exile, attached to the king's palace. He says Daniel proposed in his heart that he will not defile himself with a portion of the king's meat. Brethren, we've had Christians appointed to positions, and they go in, they disappear, 
they change. Testimonies change. Standards change. Let's pray that strength will be developed in the hearts of the chosen to stand for the truth, even in the corridors of power. Strength, boldness, in the name of Jesus. Strength, boldness, access, in the name of Jesus. Inspiration, discernment, wisdom, to know when to open their mouths. In Jesus' name we pray. Exodus 4.10. Media, I beg of you to just please follow so that people can read what we're saying. It says, And Moses said unto the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither heretofore nor since thou hast spoken unto your servant, but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. Message says, Moses raised another objection to God. This was God almost lobbying Moses to take leadership. Master, this was Moses, eh? Please, I don't talk well. I've never been good with words. Neither before nor after you spoke to me. So even after you spoke to me, I still stammer. I'm a stammerer. It was after that God asked him, who made the mouth of man? Let's pray for the boldness for reluctant leaders to emerge. People that are currently hiding. They're hiding in sacks. They're hiding behind. But the deliverance of certain states, the deliverance of certain commissions have been put in their hands. Let's pray for boldness and shiftings for these ones to emerge. In the name of Jesus. Masoto maleke mashoda la bababa. Rimantropo suta like mashude le makusata. Repondo lusata like mashuda la makusa. Repondo loso tomalike bababa. Shepraika sata limando loso tomalike baba. Repondo lusata la. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. When the Bible says you are the salt of the earth, I don't want you to be thinking of your brother. It's talking to you, Ajiri. It's talking to me. You are the salt of the earth. But one thing I noticed about men that God uses is that he refines them in the furnace. And usually, some of us then desert the refinement and we lose destiny that way. So I'm reading um, Hebrews 12, 1 to 3. I'm going to be very quick. You may not see what this means. All the pioneers who blazed the way, all these veterans cheering us on. It means we better get on with it. Strip down, start running. Never quit. No extra spiritual fat. No parasitic sins. Keep your eyes on Jesus, who both began and finished this race we're in. Study how he did it. Because he could never lose sight of where he was headed. That exhilarating finish, in and with God, he could put up with anything along the way. Cross, shame, whatever. And now he's there, in the place of honor, right alongside God. When you find yourselves flagging in your faith, go over that story again. I'm reminded that when the Lord Jesus was born, one of the gifts he was given is mare. I also know that when Esther was being prepared, she was given mare for six months and then sweet perfumes for another six months. I checked up this substance of mare. It says it's a natural gum from a number of small, thorny species. You can't avoid it, guys. The issues you have, the problems you're going through may be the preparation that you need for the palace that God has appointed to you. I want you to pray this morning concerning yourself. Lord, prepare me for the palace. Prepare me for that place you're taking me to. Give me perspective, even in the journey. Perspective to see that I can withstand. Perspective to know that I can withstand. Perspective to recognize that it is not abnormal. It's not abnormal to be persecuted. It's not abnormal to be broke. It's not abnormal. It's not abnormal to lose my job. It is part of the preparation. Give me the grace to be the salt of this earth. Anywhere you have, anywhere God has placed you in your palace already, at work, in church, in your department, I want to be the salt. I want to season. I want to be a seasoning in the name of Jesus. Give me perspective for the challenges that I face. Give me perspective for the issues of life that I have. Give me perspective for the problems that I have. I want to be the salt in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lastly, the book of the Psalms actually talks about when the Lord turned again the captivity of them that were in Zion. We were like them that dream. I want you to open your mouth now and begin to call out things that used to be good 
that are no more good in Nigeria. For example, our currency, come back to normal. With man, it is impossible. With God, all things are possible. Corruption, come back to righteousness. I want you to open your mouth and just declare, righteousness, righteousness, righteousness will win in this nation. Our currency will heal. Our, our sources will heal. Our oil will bounce back in the name of Jesus. The natural resources will add value to us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Masoto maleke bababababosha. Repondo lo soto malike bababababosha. Shede de babos. Rimandro posuda la bababababa. Le masoto malike bababababa. Rimasoto malike bababababa. Shantra posuta la kashine de bababababa.